What's up, my nerds? What's Welcome up, back to another episode, First Nerd on the Right. I'm your host, Mr. J. We don't have our usual co-host today, but we do have my special friend here, my buddy Rich. Say, everybody. Hi, everyone. So, he is the owner of this super cool statue that we're going to be doing today. This is a special review. We're at his place today. As you can notice, there's no dinosaurs in the background. But we do have this pretty cool banner back here, if you haven't already noticed what it is metroid prime today we are going to be reviewing this exclusive meta ridley from first four figures now as you can tell he's a big big boy this is massive these wingspans are nuts i can't wait to get into it if you guys are metroid fans you're in for a treat today let's get into it so basically we're gonna come in here and we're gonna look at the wingspan here first. These wings are pretty wild. As you can see, this is a metallic finish on the skeletal of it, right? The skeleton. This is a metal dragon, basically. Now here we have the wings that are attached inside the back of the torso there. Two big notches, two large uh, uh, metal studs that go in. Here we have a closer look at the wings. So basically everything that would be flush is going to be metallic, very tall, very sharp, has a lot of pointy edges. Those are all sharpened, uh, very sturdy. Uh, you can see this is basically clear resin uh, that goes throughout the wings here. Very cool, it, it shines very well in the light. Uh, paint job is immaculate on this thing. It's all very gunmetal, right? Very metallic looking paints. You got your purples, you got your silvers. And then you got your your shadings in between right if you really look close some of the details are also copper some of the little piping on it some little things like that you got red on the gums you got the eyeball there uh lots of teeth lots of detail on this thing as you can see if you light it up both the eyeballs and a couple lights on the chest light up very cool very very cool for sure uh, lots of sharp edges again. Look at the arms, look at the claws, look at the teeth. We're gonna zoom out a little bit here. This is, has a very wide statue as well. A lot of wide stance, long stance, tall stance. This is a very big statue altogether. You can see here in the arms, uh, very flesh like, right? Uh, although it's made of metal, you can see all the muscles, all the little joints, everything made of metal, right? Picture. Uh, a body with the same textures just instead everything is metal it's basically what this is it's got like an endoskeleton and an exoskeleton lots of piping lots of purples you can see here very very metallic looking very cool you can see here on his back you see some of those copper pieces there going down the vertebrae it looks like very cool Let's look down here on the legs again you see more of that metallicness there the the muscles there you got the long tail made of many little segments giving you that uh spiked tail look lots of rivets very metallic very robot like right this is basically a mech and he's got the large spike at the end of the tail the tip so you can see on the tip you see some more bronze coloring you got very very large spike i think it's pretty big i don't i don't think you want to get hit by something like that you can see it here on the background very good view on it from this angle it's a beautiful piece guys lots of sharp angles the coloring is very very nice you can see the legs more here you can see the back of the tail some more of that muscular metallicness there the thighs the calf you got the under butt view here see the back of the feet the underneath the feet you got rivets, you got vents, you got the spikes, the claws. Looks very nice. Down here, we have the base. Simple base, circular. It's got those uh, purple circles all around it. What it like, look like windows. And down here, you have the on and off switch along with the USB cable port. Now, you do have the option to use the rechargeable batteries or you could you can hardwire it, don't have to worry about charging them at all. So it is neat that they give you 
both those options. Now the base is obviously as you can see a nice bronze color. It is battle damaged as well. Scratches all over. Very heavy base as well. This thing is not going anywhere. It's probably the heaviest part of the whole statue. Uh, now that stand that you see attached to the base is one piece with the torso of the statue. So they did design it in a way to make it that much safer to pose. So appreciate that little piece of engineering from Fresh Four Figures. See a little 360 view here. This thing is very nice. It'll go good in anyone's collection. Those wings, that paint job, this is one badass piece, guys. Any Metroid fan would be happy to have this. I know Metroid Prime is a very popular game. Hoping that more games to come, more statues to come, more collectibles for all. So that was a nice little close-up view on uh, Ridley here. And man, I am very thoroughly impressed. You happy with this, Rich? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's my favorite piece. I, I don't know if I could really get anything to, to top this, especially for Nintendo. Uh, I'm obviously, I told you, I'm expecting some other first for figure Nintendo pieces, but uh, I know that just the detail and the size alone, I don't, I don't see first for figures putting out anything. Same as related as at this, this scale. Yeah, this scale is pretty massive. Those wings. They're like bigger than our heads, basically. Right. Uh, it's a staggering 36 inches, 37 inches wow. tall. That's I think that's what it was, 36 inches. So it's. It's big. Yeah. yeah it's almost. Yeah. It's almost a yard, um, which is ridiculous for uh, a statue, and it's kind of not out of character for first or figures, but uh, they don't have a lot of pieces that are at this size. Like so, at least height. Right, yeah. This scale, you don't really see a lot. I, I've seen a lot of first four figures and the type of stuff that they uh, uh, tend to bring out. And not only are they not as like serious looking as this, because I mean, we get it, it's Nintendo. They tend to do more family oriented stuff. So to see them do something like, this is very aggressive right, looking, right. you know? This is badass. Like, you see this and you're like, holy crap, what the hell is this? Especially if you don't know Metroid Prime. Me, unfortunately, I didn't grow up with it, so when Rich bought this, I had no idea what it was. I just knew it looked awesome. It is, it is awesome. It is awesome. Everything in here is, it's not for kids. This isn't something that you that you leave around your kids. These, these rings are on little points that could probably snap. These things weigh a ton. The whole, the whole thing, I think it's, it's got to be over 10 pounds. It's very heavy. This base is really... It's wide enough and heavy enough to keep everything. Right. It, something so big like this, so wide and tall, surprisingly is very sturdy. It, look at the little shake test here. Yeah. That you can see the wing, but you can see the wings wobble. Too. Yeah, but it's, it's, right. it's, you can tell it's firm. Right. It's not going anywhere. The paint job is great. I love the metallic fish finish on it. You don't see like the mus muscular yeah. definition, all the lines, the uh, they striations. They get a lot of detail, lots of scratches on the metal. It just, this guy's been through battle, you can tell. Right. Um, obviously, this is one of the last games that this character appeared in. Uh, Ridley was killed. You kill Ridley, Ridley comes back as a robot. Uh, it's almost like a 20 year spoiler where this game came out almost 20 years ago. And so yeah, yeah, it's, it's obviously fantastic. There's not a lot I can see them ever making that tops this for the character or the series. I hope so. I told you I've always hoped for that. Four figures. Right. If you're watching, make some more Metroid Prime stuff. It's really cool. The fan base is asking for it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, LED function. You get the eyes and the Ooh, chest. Look at that. Yeah. So when you and I were in New York, we didn't see it with the LED function. Mm -hmm. um, but we knew that it came with it, so it was really exciting to turn it off for its first time. Yeah, and as you guys saw in the the closer look we got at this earlier, you do have two options. I do like that uh, Fresh Four Figure does that. You can either use their rechargeable batteries or hardwire it via a USB cable, which I think is super neat. This will look awesome in a case. 
Rich. Yeah, I won't. Let, let, let's find you a case. Let's get a case. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna have to be something like 36 inches tall, almost 30 inches wide. Yeah. And if you want it to spin, so the other thing too is that although it's, it's balanced, but like I don't know, it's really wide going this direction. Right. You're gonna need like a big giant cube right. basically for this thing. So it's awesome. I know this is still available right now, so if any of you guys out there are watching this and you guys are like, I've seen pictures of it, but I've never really seen it next to like human beings before, and you're not, you don't really appreciate how large this thing is until you're actually next to it. I was with him when he bought it, and it's been a couple years now where even I have forgotten how massive this is. I'm like, oh yeah, it'll fit here, blah, 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 and then when you actually come right. here and you see these wings, like... Yeah, no, this is way bigger than I remember it being. So do not underestimate those pictures. They do not do it justice. This thing is massive. If you want to add that to the collection, you will not be sorry. My friend here, as you can see, he's a big Metroid fan. He even has this Game Boy Advance Metroid uh, Fusion graded. By WATA. W-A-T-A. 9.2, by the way. Pretty high. Yeah. So this is this is a beautiful piece he's got here. This is a real Metroid fan here. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Um, that's actually like a top ten uh, Metroid Fusion uh, graded right now. Um, I'm sure there could be more that come out down the road, but uh, as of right now, it's a top ten. Um, it has a double A, uh, A plus plus for the seal, which pretty much means that the plastic, the wrap around it, is almost unscratched. There's almost no imperfection so it's really cool um and yeah yeah i absolutely love this i love metroid obviously and i can't wait for more to come out so he has uh this statue specifically is uh number 1130 yeah. uh off the top of our heads we don't recall what the edition size is for this, yeah, but if you have to take like a guess, 1500 or something. Probably like 1500 yeah, of right them, guys. So. Um, they're still listed on First for Figures. They're in stock. You can do a payment plan. And they're $600 plus shipping, excluding tax. So probably around $700 you're going to end up paying if you live in the US. Well, today's um, shipping, that sounds about right. 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 Um, and then the, the benefit is that you can actually do a payment plan. Uh, first for figures like uh, large port, I think it's like 20, 20% or 30% down, something like that. And then you pay it for three months. So it comes up to like 150 a month after you do your down payment. You know, after you get the money, this thing is absolutely worth it. There is, if you're a Metroid fan, you should, yeah, honestly, you should consider getting this. Yeah, I I've, missed out. I've, I've never seen it. I missed out on some. I missed out on the uh, Samus's uh, spaceship and some other things that I wish yeah. that I had, but I didn't even know these things existed exactly. when I saw this. Yeah, and, um, that that and, is the, the the collector's dilemma, right? Um, we jump in at some point in time, and when we start seeing what what we could have had, what what could have been, what has been released, and can't get a hold of nowadays, the FOMO is real, guys. I mean. You guys get it, your fellow collectors as well. There's always stuff that you miss out on and all you can do is hope to maybe one day buy it off someone else or if the studios, you know, come out with other newer, more uh, 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 up-to-date pieces. And we'll show you guys um, the box in a second. Um, yeah, we'll bring it up here on screen. They, they the go. box, super colorful. Uh, you can see the... Ridley here it says Meta Ridley. Um, you got the edition size on the outside. Uh, sorry, not the edition. The uh, the edition number, the number of the statue here. It's very colorful box. Big yeah, box. Get, yeah, and the star, even the styrofoam. Like, yes, the figures even, goes crazy mm -hmm. with that little extra the little authentication card. Uh, and it's like a credit card. It almost looks like a credit card. It has a number in there. Really cool. They, they just go above and beyond with a lot of their products. They care. They actually care, which is nice. First Four Figures is a very, very cool company, guys. Uh, if you're interested in cool Nintendo products, check them out. If you guys enjoyed the episode, remember like, share, subscribe, comment. 
leave uh, your thoughts and opinions. Remember, your your voice matters. I'm trying to talk to as many nerdy people as I can. So, thanks for joining us. See you next time. See you, my nerds. See you, my nerds.